Good morning, Gemma. Now 646, going on 647 here in a few seconds or so. We're under an ABC7 first alert, folks. Not for today. It's going to be for tonight because we could see the risk of some heavy rainfall that could lead to some flooding. But for the next 12 hours or so, enjoy it while it lasts. We're expecting pretty much dry conditions for the time being, and we'll start to see that cloud cover begin to break apart, and we'll be tracking mostly sunny skies by the time this afternoon rolls around. Those winds will be light coming from the southeast, transitioning to a northwesterly flow about 5 to 10 miles per hour with a high of 95 degrees expected for the El Paso metro, and Las Cruces is slightly cooler at 94 degrees. Keep in mind, though, there's so much moisture here because of the rain that we saw overnight, and things are going to be uh, feeling a little muggy feel sticky out there. It's, it is monsoon season, but we are so used to living in a desert year round. Or we are do live in a desert year round, but we're used to that drier air. But as for today, it'll be a lot more uh, moist and a lot more uh, sticky. I'm not a big fan of humidity. It always does uh, some weird things to my hair. But hey, at 7 p.m. today, we will start to see uh, those isolated showers and thunderstorms begin to develop across the region. But like I mentioned, I think the main activity will happen tonight. This is the latest model run that that was just ingested into our system. Uh, you can see about midnight or so, we'll start to see uh, heavier pockets of rain move into the area coming from the south, trekking north with those darker greens and yellows and reds. But look what happens about 2 a.m. This model has been pretty consistent about what it wants to bring into the forecast. And you can see all of El Paso County under some yellows and reds, indicative that this will be a slow moving system. And with it producing heavy rainfall, it could lead to some localized flooding in those areas that are low lying. Those of you who live near canals, specifically out there in the lower valley, Fabens and Dornillo, I'm talking to you. It's time to have an action plan or be weather aware. Of course, we'll be tweaking this forecast during ABC 7 at noon. And when Doppler Dave gets in here during the afternoon shows, he'll be tweaking the forecast as well. So be prepared for some heavy rainfall uh, to occur tonight. And even into early tomorrow morning, we'll still be tracking rain showers across El Paso. 6 a.m. You can see uh, basically all of the county under some form of rain potentially falling from the sky. So it could be a slick morning commute tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow morning, though, to help you track that as well. We'll get to that seven day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Right now, I want to get you out the door.